In this video, I'm going to show how to make a model of the benzene molecule in Google SketchUp. Let's uh, look at Wikipedia here, and we see that um, there's a, uh, a ball and stick model, and we see something that there's there's something new in it, which is this uh, dashed line on the interior, and that's also shown in this schematic here. And what's happening is um, carbon atoms want to uh, share four bonds with their neighboring atoms and uh, in a benzene molecule one of the bonds is going to attach to a hydrogen and two of the bonds are going to be dedicated to the um, the neighboring carbons and then there's kind of a spare bond that's going to flip back and forth and and so it's not really in this position all the time and not really in that position it kind of it kind of trades places so um, let's think about how we can model it one way we could model that is uh, just to show what it looks like in a snapshot of time with a uh, single bond on one side and a double bond on the other. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll look at some alternative ways to uh, view benzene. First of all, let's make the um, the carbon bond with hydrogen, which is um, the common structure in a benzene ring. We will um, go to x-ray here and then locate the center point, click on that center point, okay, then we go over here to the carbon atom, zoom in, locate the center point, connect to the center point of the bond, and um, now we have a group made of a carbon and hydrogen atom which is repeated six times in our um, benzene molecule. Now we will um, take care of the, the bonds in the ring. We have a single bond alternating with a double bond. So I'm going to use the protractor for this, and I'm going to tilt this by 60 degrees. And the reason for doing that 60 degrees is because when you have a hexagon, uh, you're making six turns as you go around, and a full turn would be 360 degrees in a circle. 360 divided by 6 would be uh, 60 degrees per turn. So there's, there's one bond properly turned. Then we will go ahead and turn the other bond by 60 degrees. And again, you look at the lower right-hand corner for the number. There we go. Then let's go. Let's zoom in. Change this to the Move tool. See if we can. There we go with that one select the double bond now and we will bring that in for connection find the center point locate the center point there okay this may seem like wow we've got a lot more of this to go but actually we're almost done put that there and we're going to turn this by 60 degrees this. Back up a little ways. Copy. Paste. Now we're going to rotate by 120 degrees because we've got two bonds in there. So we, we do twice as much as before. gets to be a little bit tricky to locate 
the uh, the center point when you've got a bunch of bonds coming together like that. So be careful. And now let's uh, paste another one of these things, and we will uh, rotate this. 120 degrees in the other direction. Zoom in. There. Once we're close, everything looks simple. There. And then we will uh, click on uh, these three groups and make them into a um, benzene ring group. Turn off X-ray to make it look nice. And there is our benzene ring as a, uh, a snapshot in time. Um, Let's look at some other ways to portray it. There's what we were just looking at. In this portrayal, I um, made the um, the inner bond uh, be semi-transparent. And um, you can't really see it that well. I was thinking that maybe I need to make it even more transparent so that it stands out more. And over here, I... Uh, made the inner bond, um, I sliced it up so that it's only there half the time. And that, that stands out a little bit more. And then um, I also made this simple animation using SketchUp and uh, Microsoft Paint. And it, it only has two frames, but it shows how things, uh, how the bonds uh, pulse in their positions, how they change positions. So those are some of the ways that you can model a uh, benzene ring molecule in Google SketchUp.